Can anybody tell me what data types we have in Python? Yes? Yes, it's often. Strings, yes. Loops. Floats. Loops. Dictionaries. Dictionaries. Nobody wanted blindness or any form of disability. But how you can impact these individuals better will be key to society. So when I was growing up, I found out that I couldn't see at night. I was six to seven years old when I found out that I could not see at night. It kind of uh, spiraled or deteriorated as I started getting older. Basically, by the time I got to, to university in my year two, that's when I went to see an ophthalmologist who diagnosed me with a rare disease called uh, retinitis pigmentosa. So from there, I went to the UK, did my master's, came back. When I came back, um, that's when I was, uh, when I was working at a company. I realized I couldn't see from printed paper anymore. Uh, my eyesight started deteriorating, and then that changed the course of my life. It took me some time to adjust, to cope with life, basically. I started getting into depression, and then from there, it took me some time for me to get out of depression. It took me some time for me to get my life back together. Basically, one of my friends, an older friend of mine, um, told me to come and work for him. And when I came to work for him, I think that's when my life started getting, to get, getting together. My mom passed away in 2015, and I told myself I'll never allow this eyesight get to me. As I, as I said that, I now realize that, you know what, I, this is my life. I have to do what I need to do in order to get where I need to get to. And obviously, with the help of Almighty God as well, uh, you know, um, I think I ne since that day I've never looked back. So you are going to have outer one two, then you have one two again, then you have outer three four, then you have three four again. That's what you should have, Abi. Uh, my coding journey actually started when I was uh, in university. At that time, my eyesight was not this bad, uh, so I could code. That was since uh, when I entered year one. I studied computer science in school. From there, I went on to do my master's in, uh, in uh, so I have two master's. The first one is in MSc, Information Technology, uh, and the second one is MSc in Intelligent Computational Systems. So I did um, some, my, my dissertation was in artificial intelligence and stuff like that. So um, when I came back to Nigeria, that's when I started my career, let's say. Coding for me was actually self-taught. Um, I remember one of my neighbors, he was an electrical engineer. <laughs> His name is Femi Adelemo. <laughs> uh, he was an older friend, and he gave me this book on C++. And then I got the book, I, was, I think I was in year one or year two then. I started consuming the book. I consumed the book. And then from there, uh, that's what got, into, got, my, got my coding skills um, up and running. The second open bracket, after the second open bracket, press enter there. Just on that line or before it? No, before, before, before. An average work day is just, well, this is where I work. Normally, I go to the office, it's a hybrid role, so I go to the office once a week. So I work for a company called Charms Mobile. Charms Mobile is a subsidiary of Charms Holding Company, Holding Co. My first day with him at work, we got to the complaint at um, um, VI, Charms Mobile, and um, Charms Co. So I never knew he had issue with his eyesight. So when we got there from the car, he told me, Toby, where's my stick? I said, sir, <laughs> what stick? <laughs> so he said, I don't you know I can. I said, no, I, I didn't even notice from the was there? I, 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 I didn't notice. I was not even expecting that. Because a lot of people obviously are surprised. They're like, ah, this guy, you can code, you can do this, you can do that. Um, it's, 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 they, they, they can't believe it, actually. They're like, oh, how do I do it? That's all the questions. And this cuts across not just guys who are not techie, but guys who are techie. Because the guys who are techie obviously don't know that such um, technologies exist, right? So. You know, things like screen readers, um, things like uh, even on my phone, the way I use my phone. Um, so they don't really know things like this exist, and they're always very shocked. 
uh, and sometimes they always want to just see me code for it, just a day until they now realize, okay, this guy can code, this guy, he's a big code. There, there was uh, um, uh, people with vi uh, disability uh, conference, and I met um, one of the co-founders of Access Tech. Her name is Emanuela Akinola. She, she reached out to me, and then we started talking. And she was surprised that, oh, okay, I could code uh, because I studied computer science in school. I could do all those things, and she was really happy. And she was like, okay, whether we could partner together. Um, so I think when they partnered with Microsoft, they, I think the dream was realized. They got this training space. And I said, okay, don't worry, I'll come in and see what I can do in order to push uh, the dream forward, in order to train um, um, others who are visually impaired about IT skills, be it data science, be it data analytics, be it programming, all those kind of things. And um, that's how it all started. So we, we are collaborating with uh, Victor Ekweme, who is a software developer, on how to teach blind people um, data analysis using Python software. So we are going to expand beyond data analytics. Data analytics is a pilot. Um, once we master data analytics, we look at other areas in coding that are accessible for blind people. What I do with Access Tech is I help in training um, their students on data analysis and Python programming. So the students are eager to learn. They are vibrant. I have two very, very uh, keen students and they're the youngest. You, as you mentioned before, one is Finnish, she's 17, she just finished secondary school, she's the only girl in the class. The class is um, very conducive, the atmosphere is lovely and the teacher is, she, he's very, very good and he teaches well. I've had a lot of teachers in the past that some of them are just, they don't really, maybe they don't know what they're doing, or, but he really, he's really good at this and he wants to share it with all of us, which is very good of him. So my hope basically is just for them to get well-paying uh, jobs and also not to stop there, but to also, like what I'm doing, how I'm teaching them, they should teach others who are coming behind them because um, nobody wanted blindness or any form of disability but how you can impact these individuals better will be key to society. And so that is my main aim for them um, as they move forward and for them to live fulfilling lives uh, as they grow older and in their careers. If you want to put formats, how do you put formats in that limit? F, uh -huh, in quotes, then limit is equals to what? You can put limit is equals to limit. You can put the second limit in curly brace. What do you do after the colon? Press enter. And what does it do? It dents. Thank you.